So we ran into another problem, which was that the customer wants a reset button to reset the alarms. So I've determined that we are going to use SCADA 1115 for that. And when I went to put that in, I realized that I'd have to copy and paste for each and every one of those. Right, over and over and over and over and over again. But instead, we can manipulate the structured text. So what I'm going to do, as you can see, I did a few of them before realizing that it was utterly pointless. So I'm going to save this routine, and I'm going to export the routine to my desktop. I'm going to make it alarms and backup. Export it. So now we are going to open this with Notepad. And we're going to look for the structured text section, which we can kind of take a shortcut to identify by, you see here, this alarm block, alarms for, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to highlight those question marks because I'm thinking that's what we're looking for. And we see here that we're taking down a rung number one and we can see all the structured text. So we will uh, replace the middle question mark because as you can see here there's three different uh, tags that need to be inserted into each of these add-on instructions and the reset button is the middle one. So we are going to find and replace start with the three question mark ones. Those are uh, add-on instructions that have none of those uh, three required tags inserted into them. So I'm going to copy, paste, and you can see here that you just replace all of them. So we have those, and now I'm going to do the two question mark ones because for some of those alarm blocks, I already put in that first variable. And so we'll find the next one just to make sure. We can see it's rung number one. Turn around delay. And we'll replace all those. So now we'll save this. Close it out. I'm going to save this program first in case things go horribly wrong, I'll delete the alarms wrong, and then I am going to come back up to this main program, right click, we'll add an import a routine, see this is what comes up. choose our alarms backup file and we'll hope for the best. see if it did what we wanted. As you can see that SCADA 1115 has been inserted into all of these. So 
looks like we did it successfully. And for the next video, I'm going to work on a way to um, insert the alarm input into each of those, and also the unacknowledged bit, so which are going to be unique for each one. So as you can see here, this is a finished alarm. We'll have our alarm bit zero, which is activated by all of the alarm conditions, and then we'll have our unacknowledged bit, which will be incremented. So I'm going to work on that in Excel and uh, see if I can come up with a solution so I don't have to click and replace each and every one of these 80 alarms.